series of things. They're all little things, but they're a whole series. All right. And I just figure we'll do them one at a time. All right. As opposed to me dumping the whole lot. Right. I need you to describe what's going on. Let me give it. Yeah. I spent all weekend out in the Salt City. Did you? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. You're, you're looking good. You're looking yeah. Happy. Just, well, I needed a, a break from the South Bay. I try like once a month just to get away. Now tell me where Palm City is. Well, Salton City is where my land is. Right. That's 30 miles south of Palm Springs. Oh, oh Palm Springs, you right. said. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said Palm City. I misheard you. Palm Springs is what everyone knows. Yes. You'd be surprised how many people don't know that Salton City exists. They don't know that that's bigger body of water than Lake Tahoe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's so abandoned in people's right. minds. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I agree. California cesspool. I agree. All right. So. California salt pond. Right? Yes. Yes. Political hot topic that doesn't want to be hot. And is there still talk that Disney is going to get themselves involved with that place? Yeah, obviously that's closer towards the um, Palm Springs. You can move that case anywhere you want. I just set it down there because it seemed out of Yeah. I obviously don't care where you put it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Palm Springs would be pretty close to where that community is that Disney would, was, would be considering. Which is good for anything within 50 miles. Now right. the first one is is really simple, and I can't figure out why I can't do it. Yeah. This file oh, where is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I got it now. Let's see, when we downloaded my pictures from my phone. Yeah. We did it in two tranches, although we didn't mean to, right? But right. Because, all of these yeah. pictures right here yeah. were the first tranche. Right. And all of these pictures right here are the second tranche. Right. I would like, and what I wanted to do, Chris, was pour these pictures into this file so they're all in one place. Oh, okay. And it should be simple. It should be Edit. click there. Yeah. Hit the shift key. Yes. Click there. Yes. Oh shit. What? It that hasn't worked for days. Well, that's how that goes. You okay. show up and it works. Now I want to scroll you back up. Yeah. And simply grab a hold of this. Yes. Yes. And put it in here. Yes. Drop it. There you go. There. Okay. Yeah. Now, now let's see. I think again. I think I want them. I don't know how this is going to work because this is not all one file. But let me show you. I, I, I'll, I'll show you what I'm trying to get to in just a second. But I've got to get all the pictures together to yeah. get to it. Right. These go in here. Okay, great. Now, I, I still don't have them all in one file because these have been sorted. The computer automatically sorted them by age. All right. But what I would like to do is run that run that facial recognition thing through here that you said where it would store them all together by facial recognition. Yeah, okay, so it depends, there's several, like it depends what photo program you're using. If you're going to use the program that comes with Windows called Photos, yeah. Photo, Yeah. there's a feature, I'd have to dig around, but there's a checkbox in there that says find all the fa familiar faces. Okay, and that's what it is. I mean, yeah. I'm using whatever program this is. Right, so here. if you just open up Photos, just type the word Photos where you can type. By the start menu, yes. Photos. Yes. Okay. Photos Workshop, Photos Free, Photos Google. What are we looking for here? Photos just iCloud? Just click the uh, 
half right there. Yeah. Where it says at. Yep. Okay. So somewhere. So that feature you're looking for is only usable inside an app like this. Okay. Where we went, where we were in just Windows Explorer, that was a raw section of the system. So you're not going to see features like uh, albums unless you physically move them into a folder and then album, uh, albumize folder names and things like that. This software here has the facial recognition feature. So. See how I got everyone in sunglasses in this area? Yeah, I see. That's it. a piece all made with sunglasses. Right. So that's a feature that you're only going to notice in when you're looking at the photos inside of this software. So, you do, so photos, lots of smiles. It literally recognizes people that are smiling. Although I kind of wonder if, like, where the glasses are, if yeah. that one's also in this one. Yeah. We'd have to experiment and see if it commingles. That's, that's okay. If you, right. But because. Uh, does it help you if you understand what I'm trying to do? Go, yeah, go ahead and tell me what you want. Okay. Can I, can I minimize yes. this? Yes. Okay. I'm going to minimize this too. In. Let's see. The place that I end up want to file them all. This all pictures file. Yes. And this is where they're eventually all going to go. Physically, yes. And. You'll notice that I've got all these subfolders. Yes. Now many and and I've got a thousand pictures to put in these subfolders. Right. Moving them one at a time is a pain in the ass. Yes. So I've got a Rita folder. I've got a Sam folder. I've got an Aurora folder. I've got a Christian folder. These are all people. Right. If we can take those thousand photos. And if nothing else, take those four categories of people out so I can dump them all in at once. Yeah. It'll cut my work in half. Okay, say that again. I'm not sure I'm understanding the articulation. Okay. Uh, in the end, yes. I want every picture I've got in one of these subfolders. You know, when you say one of these subfolders. Okay, let me go back. This is my all pictures. Okay, so all pictures, we're going to call that the root, because that's my technical term. Okay. That's not even my term, that's a real term. Okay. Root is the, the all and the, the one that, if it was a, um, a Russian doll, you know, the, um, the, t the Russian dolls where you have a doll the, and a doll and a doll and a doll. The biggest one? Yeah, the is biggest the one is the root, yes. Okay. Now, pictures that are not in the root that I want to put in the root are these right here. Got it. Okay, now I, I want to put all of these in the root. Yeah. Okay, but, and here, here's the but. In the root, I have all of these what I call subfolders, and yes. I don't think you like the term. Well, subfolders make sense. It's, okay. Yeah. So I want to take all of the pictures that are not yet in the root and divide them into one of these subfolders. These subfolders cover my entire life. Right. Okay. Yeah. There are four of these subfolders that have people's names on them. Right. Aurora. Yes. Christian, who yes. is my son. Yes. Rita, who you know. Yes. And Sam, who is me. Okay. Okay. Now, having said that, that now you know what I want to do. Right. If I go back to here. Yes. And there are a thousand pictures here. Yes. Probably three or four hundred of them will be in one of those four categories. Okay. So if I can get the folder to automatically pick out everything that says Sam and at least put it together uh -huh. so that I can capture everything that says Sam and drag it over at one time. Did you rename all these folders that you care, all the files, not the folders, did you name the files, rename them, uh, Sam or whatever the each uh, file is? Let me see. Go back to one of them. You see how all these file names are technical? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the camera that created them named them. Did you rename them something human? No. So they're all numbered. Yeah. If they were named, you could literally do a search by name, but we can't right. do that. But okay. So that's why the facial recognition right. will be Got really it. helpful right. so if you can do it. If right. we can't do it. Then it'll take me a year, and right. every night I'll sit down and do a dozen or two. Uh, at some point, were you considering renaming those digital file names to something human? 
Yeah. Okay, so if you did but that. But that's the next task. That's right. not this task. Okay, well, if that task were first, you can, once that were done, do a search by Aurora and then all the um, files named after her. Mm. But yeah, I know. Um, no. Facial recognition, it's not going to subcategorize physically. All it does is look at the folder where you tell it to look. So I don't know that what you're asking exactly okay. is doable. What if we skip all of these that are labeled 2010 to 2022? Okay. And just search these that are loose. Can we search these that are loose and ask them to put them in order by facial recognition to put every one that has Aurora's face in it together? Okay. Well, what we can do is we can do a search in the download folder. What's the download so folder? So you're currently, these folders we're looking at is in the iCloud. See, this this PC yeah. is not the root, but it's the full computer. The Pictures is the root file. Okay. And then your subfolder is the iCloud folder. And then the download folder is a sub subfolder. Okay. So we can do a search for nothing but the downloads. Okay. And the downloads would be? Search downloads right here. And the downloads are all the stuff I'm looking at, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to search downloads for what? Aurora, uh, but that's simply going to give them the name. Right, yeah, I see, want that's, okay. facial recognition. Yeah, we're not able to do that from right here. So so we can't do facial right, recognition. That's why I really wanted you to have to, I know it's annoying as heck, but to manually rename all these digital file names to something more meaningful to you. So like if you name them after your daughter, you, anyone else, we can do a search by those, by those file names. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't know what's going on, so it gives it an arbitrary date or technical file. Name. Okay, and so we do not have facial recognition here. Not, a, not in this view right here. Correct. Correct. Is there some other view we could go to? No. No. It, okay. File name means so much. Okay. That's the problem. So yeah. what you're telling me to do? Let's let let me think for a minute. This is going to be. Yeah. Rita's art. Yes, if you that's literally the name of the yes, folder. yes. Okay, I have a folder that's Rita's art. Okay, okay. Yes. Now this is also going to be Rita's art. Right. Rita's art, but I can't name it Rita's art because that name is already taken. Exactly. So I'm going to have to call this Rita's art one. Yes, or you, if you happen to literally know the name of that artwork, you can title it. No, I All don't. Right. I don't. Got it. That's way too complicated. Got it. Do you want to? Re oh, I want to rename it Rita's art. Yeah, go ahead. It's asking permission. Rita's Art 1. Is Got it. What I'm doing. Okay. So, what you're saying, and, and whether I like it or not, it makes sense is that it's going to be easier to go through this whole file. Yes. Th uh, this whole folder that I've got here of a thousand pictures. Yes. And if I'm going to eventually name them all anyhow, it's going to be easier to start now and name them here. And then I can use the search function, search by Rita's art. Yes. It will give me all of those, and yes. then I can transfer. You can do that for folders and pictures. Okay. I'm not wild about that, but that's a right. better solution yes. than doing a thousand of those. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Done with that. Now let's see what's the next one. I've had a piece of paper with all of my four crisps on it right here. Uh, oh. Do you remember that I lost a folder one time and you went back and replaced it in the, there's a file, well, th there is apparently, every time I delete something, there's a file, there's a place in here that a copy goes. The recycle bin? Is that it, the yes. recycle bin? Yes. And I want, it's not an individual picture, it's an entire folder that I deleted simply yes. called Japan. Okay. Can we go to? The recycle bin's at the bottom. You see on the orange? Yes, at the bottom, you see those three bottom icons? That here? No. Right here. So what oh, oh, where it says recycle bin. Go okay. in there, see if you see it. No. Oh, wait, you got so much in there. There you go, yeah. Okay, now can I search this by you can do simply a search, say yes. Japan? Yes. Search? Yes. And then hit enter for... Yes. There it is, there right there. There you go. So now okay. you right click and go restore. And that's going to put it exactly where it was. Right click, restore. And you see where it's going to go? That's where it was. 
Original location. Re yeah, yeah. The original location. Now it's asking you. And to if, if I have duplicates, it's okay yes. with me that they replace them. That's Good. perfectly fine. I there only have one copy. There. Okay, great. That's this is going quicker the than the other. Right, your okay. recycle bin is your second chance folder. Second chance. Um uh, okay, let's see. The the next one is, and I will go back here where it shows. Is this called my wallpaper? Yes. Okay. For a while, we froze the wallpaper. Yes. The last time it worked, the wallpaper came back in a rotation. Yes. But it appears to rotate every 24 or 48 hours. All right. I want to change that as long as it's going to rotate, I want to change the time at which it rotates sure. to maybe a minute. Yeah, sure. So. Right click on the wallpaper. And is that going to be over here or the picture? It's the same thing. They're, they are the same thing. Yes. Okay. Okay, so go to personalize. Uh, yeah, personalize. Very bottom. Left click. There you go. Now we're going to go to pictures and go browse. Oh, change picture every day right now, except for once a day. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was daily. It seemed to me it was daily. Okay. So let me guess that I can hit this carrot. Yes. And simply say once every minute. Yes. And then how do I hit it? Just enter? Actually, there, I think there's an apply down at the bottom if you scroll down. Okay. No, you should be able to just get out of the window. It's not obvious, but yeah, it'll take... So just close it, yes. don't even hit it. Yeah, I know. It's it's screwing with their own nomenclature okay. why they do it that That's way. That's okay. Now, the last one is this. Um, I, um, when, let's see, I'll be specific about this. When I look at pornography, uh -huh. I have had friends tell me that I should not simply use my search window, that there are a couple of ways to change where I'm going, and one of them has You're talking about looking physically on the computer or on the internet? I was actually thinking about on my, it, it, you know what, on the computer or on the internet? On the internet. Yeah, all right. On the internet. Yeah. Yeah. And one friend recommended something called Duck Duck Go, right. which I've got here, but I don't have any idea what the hell I'm supposed to do. It's to just it. a browser like Chrome or Firefox. So if I hit the Duck Duck right. Go, right, and then I hit anything I want in the search window, yes. is that how I do it? Yes. Okay. And it would be just like going to Google.com. Uh, to to Google.com, yes. where I've got it right here and yes. searching it. Okay. Yes. So if I'm going to do that, then I should also put duck, yes. duck, go oh, in here. What, yes. yes. Okay, but before you do that, I have had friends recommend two other vehicles to get that. Yeah. One is called Express VPN. Yes. And one is called Incognito. Yes. Do you have recommendations? Well, they're different technologies. So VPN, I mean, are you... You're not a professional anymore, uh, so you're not worried about people seeing what you're up to on the machine, but you just want general privacy? Yeah, All right. that's it exactly. A, a VPN is really all you need. Okay. So that's $100 a year. I use one called uh, HideMyAss.com. Okay. I think it's 80 bucks a, month, a year. Okay. And it creates a virtual tunnel that keeps outsiders. Otherwise, if you were on the Starbucks Wi-Fi, you would always want to use a VPN so someone like me can't sniff your password out or your data that's traveling to their router from your computer. Okay. So VPN is a secure tunnel that keeps your content private. One other thing before we do it. Yeah. The machine I use most to search people, to search things that I'd like not people to know I search, is my iPad. Yeah. It's neither my phone nor this. Yes. Okay. So the first thing you're telling, and now that I've said that, the first thing you're telling me is I think that I should probably simply use VPN as a search window on this regularly. No, the VPN is a service you're going to pay for, and it's software you're going to install. And, and in connecting to your internet, you're going to make sure it's always running, like virus protection. Okay. You do that on the phone. You put the app, the Hide My Ass app on your phone. You put the Hide My Ass app on the computer and your iPad. And my iPad. Yes. Do I pay for it three times? No, it's one account. It covers multiple devices. Okay. And then every time I go... And, and let's suppose um, I, I've got a friend. He's a good friend. He's a smart man. Yeah. 
he hides. He likes to hide everything from the world. He doesn't right. like the government or anybody right. else searching yeah. it. Right. So he says every time he goes to a search window, he uses something like that. Yeah. Do you do the same thing? If I was that paranoid, yeah, like on a private network. Yeah. Like if I was to use a Starbucks network, yeah. that's when I would. If it's my my own personal network, I've got a good enough password and a good enough router where I've technically someone could hijack my content coming from my laptop or my phone to my router directly. But if I was per, um, paranoid, I could spend that eighty bucks or more and use it, and make sure I'm actively using it. Okay. I could also hide where I am. So like if I was in Europe and I wanted to use Netflix, I could get the American content by pretending I'm in the United States by telling it what country I want to connect to. Okay. That's often, you'll even see people advertising, like uh, a popular YouTuber will use a VPN service as one of their advertisers and they'll say, hey, by the way, if you just want to play gray and use your service in another country where you might not otherwise be allowed to, you could use the service. Okay. Now, the only other question I've got for you then before I make a decision yeah. and you help me do it is, why have you suggested VPN as opposed to incognito or DuckDuckGo? Okay, so DuckDuckGo is a search engine. It's not technically a browser. It's like Google. The reason Google gives you the ads that you get for exactly who you are is because you are the service and they're paying for who you are. I've, go, I've go. always remembered you told yes. me that. If they don't charge you for it, you're the yes. product. I remember yes. that so clearly. Yes. You're telling yes. me that. Right. So DuckDuckGo allows, they, they basically pride themselves on not pulling up parts and all your content so they don't know nearly as much about you. That's the difference. Yes. Yes. So all I would have to do if I wanted to do that, and I've got the DuckDuckGo app here. Yes. But all I would have to do is also put the DuckDuckGo app on my iPad. Yes. And I could use that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, how about incognito? Where does incognito fit in this? It's a Google, incog uh, it's a Google function that technically protects certain things, so it's not supposed to connect. But, but it's, it's still, still Google? Google. Yes. Okay. Yes. So skip incognito yes. and go with for ease of use on something. Yes. I could go duck duck go yes. go. But if I want to simply hide everything and everything, I should have what what was the name of it? Express VPN. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yes, they're all basically, as far as I'm concerned, they're all basically offering you the same sort of for eighty to a hundred dollars a year of private tunnel. I'm not going to say one or the other is better than the other. Okay, no, well, I'll I'll take yes. your recommendation. Yes. So, can you help me set that sure. up? Because I'll yeah. tell you, if I set it up myself, right, I'm going to get confused about how to right. tell them to use it on all three different well, devices. And on the computer, you do need to make sure you turn it on because it's possible to use the internet without turning it on. In which case, you're oh, not. Stop. You go Sorry. say it again. It'll be like you're going to make sure it's running when you start the, the internet. Express yes. VPN. Yes. Okay. So yes. once I buy Express VPN, then you're going to show me how to make sure it's running, yes. as opposed to simply going to yes. whatever yes. search window I would normally use. Right. Okay. Do you? Can you help me Let's do that? Let's do it. Yes. So if that's the service you want to go to, go to their website. Okay. I'm going to go to whichever one you yes. use okay. because. Yeah. It, then when you, I have questions, yeah, I have the personal experience with okay. it. So we're yeah. gonna go to hidemyass.com. Okay, let's <laughs> see. The first thing I gotta do is get on the. You're online already. This computer's been here. Okay. And I'm, am I going to Outlook? Then to no, get you're going there? to um, whatever your browser is for Chrome. Let's just go to Chrome. Chrome. Okay. Yeah. So go to um, hidemyass.com. There you go. Log in, free proxy. Well, no, you're going to pay for it. Just do hidemyass.com VPN right there. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Look there, at that, that one. Try that, th this one down there. Look at it. Even this yeah. This is a thing that Google does. Yeah, they shove it really yeah. annoys me. Yeah. And Amazon does it too. Yeah. I tell it specifically what right. I want. Yeah. And it's like the fifth one down. Yeah, it's because, because so somebody's paying them yeah, to be the first exactly. one. Exactly. You got it. Yep. Even when I describe it there. exactly. Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. Value your privacy. Okay. Yes. There you go. But that's the other thing. You can get some of these services for free, but that $80 gives you premium uh, service. Not just technical support, but also actual performance. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to do what you told me to yeah. do. Well, and you said it was 80 bucks, so yeah, it's not going to yeah. kill me one right. or the other. Correct. It's like an hour with Chris. Yes, yeah. right, yeah. I'd rather get a massage, but I can think of things. Right. I, yeah, I, yeah. I can think of worse things yeah. to do with the money. Yeah. Okay. Get HP, uh, HMI uh, VPN. And the plan I go. want... Oh, what did I do? You what? accidentally scrolled fast, that's all. Okay, 
I didn't mean to scroll fast. Where did I get the planner I want? Yes. Scroll down. Here we are. Uh, should, maybe I should go back and start over again. Your website's a mess. Here, hold on. Oh, I, I can go back yeah. and start over again. Get, just get click it. Yeah, I don't know where it took you. Me. Oh, it dropped you down to right there. You go. It's way at the bottom. Okay. There you go. 36 month for $3 a month. And this comes monthly? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, annually. So you pay up for three. Because, yeah, I'd yeah. rather not pay monthly. So right. for this one. That's $107 for a $3 a month service. And and I pay it now and be done with yeah, it. Yeah, for three years, for, for 36 got, months. Okay. Yes. So I'm simply going to go to buy now. Yes. Okay. So these are the sort of services you definitely want to use on a public network. Hi, this is Chris. Shut up. Now, I'm doing something here wrong. Why don't I have the scroll bar down the side? Because I want to scroll down. Scroll, scroll uh, oh. I don't um, have the scroll bar. Do you not have a scroll on that wheel? Uh, does that not have a scroll wheel? Yeah, yeah it does. Scroll in. Use the wheel. There you go. Oh, okay. The wheel I've works never, regardless. I've never done that. I should learn to do that. There we go. I know all kinds of people do it. They want a card number. Right. Okay, card details. Uh, are you buying I'm my escort company? No, no, I am not. Okay, that's already on there. Place order. Right? Yes, okay. yes. Now, I don't have to tell it what devices I'm buying this no. for. That's going to come later. Correct. We're going to physically download the software and install it. just purchased um, Chris I want to because I never remember anything it was a hundred and seven dollars yes for was 36 right? months 36 one hundred and seven dollars 36 months all right all right, all right. password sorry you got to create one more more account one uh, more accounts to add to your account collection password. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I hate it. presume if they're both the same, I presume that I come down here and hit create, right? Creating an HS and see if they tell me what passwords Correct. are the same. There you go. That works. That. Good. Okay. Now I can save it so that I probably don't have to go through this shit all the time and hit continue. Okay. Good. So I think what it is. Keep me signed in, right? Yes. I think it implied that you need to go verify by checking your mail. Oh, it did? Yeah. So I minimize this. Yes. Let's see. Maybe I could check my mail yes. on the phone. That yes. might be easier yes. than minimizing it. Yes. Yes. See, I'm I'm learning a thing or two. Not much, but a thing or two. Okay, here are two things Good. from VPN. In fact, there are three things from VPN. Let them say, come, let's see. Thank you for signing on. Um, Order details. Oh, is it going to want this order no, number? No, no, you're done. Uh, scroll down and go back to the other email. The other email probably has a link to click on. Is there a link that says uh, confirm? Activation code, confirm, product. 
I got a third email from it. Good. Yeah, I think that's the one I'm talking about. Okay. It just says, you can please verify. Verify. There you go. Yep. So just verify. Yeah, because you probably can't log in until you do that. Just to make sure you're a human being and you're not one of the bots that made a billion accounts trying to hack Your browser you. is not supported. That's a lie. It worked. Go ahead and log in. So, so just close this? Yes. Okay. Sign now, in. When it says sign in, am I going to need to go back to one of these emails? I think you'll be fine. Emails? Probably not. And no. give it. Oh, unverified account. So we do need to check the mail on a full file. That's a glitch. Okay. So that's really annoying. So we're going to do that same thing here. And then. So that's, that's today's mail. It's not up yet. Please verify your email. I, I see what just happened. Yeah, so it didn't like the fact that it came from this device. Yeah, that's a glitch. All right, yeah, okay. right there we are. Registration is complete. That's just okay. annoying. They might, for security, want to make sure it all got done on the same. Yeah, whoa! Yeah. What just happened? Username was Foster Four. Don't yes. let that go away. Correct. I got my yes password. Foster was it lowercase? It is lowercase. But it doesn't probably matter because it's user. It's the password that it cares about. Username. And this is hidemyinus.com. Yes. Okay. Now, let's see. We've got all of that. I'll go back. When I get home, I'll write down all that other account number stuff. Sure. Okay, in fact, and I probably shouldn't delete this. Do I have an activation code? What the hell is this? Redeem your activation code. Use SMA activation code. May come with purchase outside your... What? Okay, that's that's annoying. Do I need to do it? No. Okay. Let me, what I want you to do is download... Actually, uh, redeem account. Let me see. Redeem your account here to use HD. Oh, let's see that email that has that code. They must have changed something. Okay, let's see. I saw I that, e that email that had that code. Verify email. No, it wasn't this. This was the verify email right. that it didn't like. It's one of the other, one of the other two. I'll come over here. Uh, okay, we've got activation code. Yeah, go ahead and type that. Enter activation code. Yeah. Here. Let's see. I need two hands to go into yeah. capital letters. Q. Yeah, I'm not even sure if that's a capital. Seven, two, A, six, L. Is it letting me see this so I yeah. can see it in the future? Yep. Uh, nine, All right. Q. Okay, now let me confirm all this bullshit. You want to read that to me? All right, let's see here. Put the dash in. I put the dashes in. Good, there you go. Redeem it. Yep. Okay, what? hold on. Hold on, let me see here. Let me see, just a second. The dashes were in there. Do you 
so she picked a deck or whatever? We'll play with it in a second. Let me see what happens after I uninstall and install the actual software. Okay, install now. We don't care about dealing with their account through their website. What we care about is what we deal with once their software is installed and activated. All right. This is going to ask you to sign in. You've already got a subscription, already purchased. Sign in. Okay. Email. Oh, it looks like either or. So just your uh, okay, login will I'll work. I'll try the foster. Yeah. Did I say that right? And the password was, okay. Good, you're in, got it. Good, see there's your on off switch. I want it on. Turn, turn it on. So there we go. So there's your little intro. Hide your allocation. Do I want to do that or not? No. Uh, it's, a, in, it's telling you how this works. So right now you're going to default to where you actually are in Los Angeles, California. Okay. But you can pretend you're anywhere in the world. Or like when you're traveling the world and you want access to Netflix and it's only an American offering. You want the American uh, offering. You turn this off on and that will give you your uh, okay. American content. Now, I'm going to ask you to show me in a minute how to get back here. Right. Okay, so I'm going to close this now. Yes, yes. And now, can I close this? Yes. I can close this right yes, up here. Yes, we're right? done with the done. website, yes. Okay. You can close your email, too. I can close that. Yes. Uh, okay, make my email go away? Yes. Okay. That, too. We're done with that. And we don't have to do it even though it said we were wrong. Correct. Okay. Now, I've got hide my ass right up here. Right, so right. it's actually just like your virus protection and all that other fun stuff. It's under there. It's under where? There? Yeah. Click that arrow, up arrow. Yeah, the carrot. Yeah, arrow. the carrot. Arrow. Yes, okay. so now it's one of those. There it is. It's the H with the uh, radio, the little gold okay. military looking lines. Yeah. Office suite? No, that's not it. That's no. a different thing. Correct. Okay. Here's your head, my ass. Good. Okay, and then I would simply change this to Amsterdam yes. if I were in Amsterdam. Yes, okay. well, no, you could tell it wherever you want it to think you are. You oh. can fib, yes. Okay. So you could tell it you're in Los Angeles when you were in Amsterdam so that you can watch Netflix, the American library of Netflix. Right, no, I got it. Yes. I got it. Okay, so now I close this, yes. but every time I come on to my computer, yes. it should just become habit. Yes. I come on to the computer, I come down here. I hit that. Yes. Then once I hit that, do I minimize it? Well, let's make sure that it doesn't need us to click next right here. Click Los Angeles. Okay, good. Um, lightning connect. Okay, so lightning connect means it's going to just, when the computer boots, it'll always be running. Okay. That's what I'm gathering that verbiage means. We will so automatically pick the fastest server based on your location. There we go. Okay, so this I can close. Yes. Right? But now, again, what I want to know is, when I come onto the computer, I hit that, I hit that, and I have to do that to make sure that this thing is turned on and working. Yes. And then I, when I do that, do I close it or do I minimize it? We have to, they keep changing the way things happen. We have to see if we can make it, oh look, it defaulted on. So it went from off to on. If you restart, we can check to see if it defaults to on. So that you okay. don't have to worry about it like your virus protection, it just does what it does. Click more for quick access to most important features and settings. Uh, and I, I got it. They're just yeah. trying to send me a message. Yeah, they're basically giving you Can't your first intro. Can't access a website, quickly change your IP address for, for your chosen 
location. I right. see what that is down okay. below. That so help. let Why? me just tell you one thing that might happen. Okay. Let's just say you wanted to write a Yelp review. What they don't want is to people to pretend to be else, elsewhere. They want you to have a genuine, um, like a Yelp review. Uh, they want to make sure you're you. They don't want you to fabricate and lie about where you are. So if you were to go to Yelp, it might not work if you were to try to lie about where you are. Okay. That's it. Okay. So. Now, then, I, I, I'm still not certain what I do here. Is it okay to close yes. this or minimize it? I want it's okay to, to close it. Close it out. What I'd like you to do and is... You want to close the computer, too. Yeah, I want you to see if it defaults. I want to see if this defaults to on, so you don't even have to worry about it. It's just always there and on. So the next time you log into Starbucks website or at the airport, you're that much more secure. Okay. Oh, you shut it all the way down. You didn't just restart it. Got it. Yeah. I thought that's what you. Well, doing. restarting would have been equal to what I needed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> We're making progress. You've got a lot done. Good. Yeah. No, this. We have, I have many things to do today. Yes. All right, now don't say a word. All right. Oops. Yeah, give it a second. It probably takes your machine another 30 seconds to actually. It does. Get up exactly to speed. right. I'm in too big a hurry. I, I, oh, I see. I had. Your I hadn't let all of these conventional things happen. Yes. That need to happen before. Yes. Yeah, there are a bunch of conventional things, and I had skipped past them. Well, that's normal for your machine to have to load everything. <sighs> Good. It did it on the uh, default. Connection secured. Okay. So there's th that step is done for you. So if and I will expect to see that message. Yes. And if I don't see that message, then I know I'm coming yes. down to the carrot. And yes. Back on. Yes. Okay. Now there's only one more part of this. You're you're more secure now than 95 percent of the population. Okay. And I'm I'm just going to use that yes. routinely. Yes. And when when I go to let's see, let's say I want to search something. Yes. Do I go here to search it? I'm still well, that's using Google, it. Well, that's Google. They're getting your marketing data. Okay. The DuckDuckGo so, is really where you want to go. It's a website. It's not a browser. I'm sorry. I might have misspoken earlier. So go, open up Chrome. Now go to DuckDuckGo. Just type it. Yes. Yeah. Just hit. Yeah. There you go. Hit that. There you go. Okay. It's the first one in this case. There we go. You do your search right there. You want that to be your homepage now? If you're willing to not use Google, because we can do that, that could be your first homepage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do like the fact that Google has learned the sites that I go to most frequently, and they're already on there when I go to Chrome. Yes. Um, but it's not that big a deal to type in www.amazon.com. Right. Settings. You want to do default, no search engine. Oh, there we go. So this is now your default uh, search engine. And then when we want it to be the home browser, we want it to be, where's your home browser? Customize. Trying to make it system the browser is managed. Except reset enough where it is the home settings appearance security search engine default browser on startup. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, there we are. Add new page. Type uh, duckduckgo.com right now for your home. Dot com. There. Okay, now it closes out. See how Chrome behaves. There you go. Oh, so I still hit the Chrome button, but it's different. Yeah, okay. it's your, that's called your home page. That's the first page that shows up when you start the browser. Okay. Now, the only... Let's see. So I now know. Let's see. Help me out here. The the hide my ass is a search engine. It's a 
It's a technical tunnel. It's almost like a hose you but put water the, through. What's the word I'm using for it? VPN stands for virtual private network. But I thought you were trying to tell me there was a difference between my browser and my search engine. Yes. Is that not one of them? No. no it's not no. either search. one. Correct. So Google, <laughs> Google competes with DuckDuckGo. Google, they get all Google your data. Is yes. my yes my search. It's your search, search engine. engine. Yes, but in this case, like you're also using the browser. Whose browser? Google's? Chrome. Chrome is Google. Is Google's browser? Yeah. So if you really wanted to, Mozilla is technically a more um, an, uh, brave would be the browser to get that would be great to use. If you really want to be, no, that's yeah, okay. I, I don't okay. want to. Yeah, I don't want to shove a bunch of ways to stay okay. private okay. in your face. Okay. But now, now, yes. now hold, hold on. Yes. Okay. Then the next thing is, am I hidden on hide my ass on my phone now? Oh, so you put the app hide my ass on your phone now. So go to, the app, go to the app store and put HMA or whatever. App store, yes, right there. Right there, the blue button. Yes. And, oops, did I make the search go away? Did I hit something I shouldn't That's hit? okay, you're fine. You're at the retail outlet. You're just at the front search. page. Search, it's yes. right down here. There you go. Okay, hide, hide my ass, just type that. There you go. There it is. Yeah. Nope. Not the ad. Yep. No. Yeah. They, they, oh, so they paid for that ad. There you go. Uh, double click yes. to install. Yes. And you can do this on your iPad also. Uh, I'm not sure. Should I? Oh, uh, it's trying to install yeah. right now. That's what right. it's trying to do. You are on my Wi-Fi, so you got good coverage. Okay. So now that I have got, and this is, I'm going to say open now. Right? Yes, so I it's already ass. installed. All right. Okay. Now, if, let's see, I'm, I'm going to cancel this. I, I want out of here. I want to be done. 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 And now I'm going to have a hide my ass app. It's right here. Yes. Okay. Now, if I go on the internet. Yes. You want to start that first. Yes. Start that first, and it's going to search for a server. Yes. Well, first it's going to have you log in. It needs you, those credentials you gave it to on your full computer. Give it a second. I don't know why it's taking long. There we go. So you're already subscribing. There's the hit skip. Already, oh, already member. That's what, yes. Yes. Sign in. Sign in. There you go. Give it your uh, email and password. Uh, do I, it seems to me that I need to hit enter first. No, no type I, email. there you go. Oh, it will come. Oh, it looked like it yeah, was you have not to, hyperlinked. Right. Or whatever not highlight, highlighted or whatever. Yes. Foster at Sam Foster LLC dot com. And my password was capital C. Now hit enter. Click OK. Thank you for reviewing. I click OK. Yes, there. So there. And I want to turn this on. Yes. Press OK. Let's go. Let me see this for a second. Sure. Oh, yeah. So this is so that the phone, this is a technical allow. Good. Enter your four digits. So it's installing it into the technical settings. There you go. There you go. Good. They made that easy. Allow. Good. Okay. Now, forgive me. This is taking right. a while to do this. It's but all right. I use hide my ass if I'm going on to the internet. Yes. And it, traditionally, when I go on the internet here, I have gone to Safari. You still will. I still will. Yeah. So basically, uh, hide my ass is software that runs like virus protection, even though it's not obvious. When you go to Safari, you're actually being protected so long as hide oh, my ass. Oh, so is I on. don't have to do anything with Correct. hide my ass. Correct. I've got it on permanently. Correct. Okay. It's like virus protection. Now, then the, in that sense. the only thing left that I need to do 
is take my iPad. Yes. Same thing you just did. And I'm going to hide my app. I'm, yes. I'm going I, on the iPad. I'm going to go to the App Store. Yes. I'm going to get hide my ass. Yes. I, I'm going to say I already own it. Yes. I'm going to give it my credentials. Yes. And I'm going to punch those few things that you said punch. Yes. And then it will be on there. Yes. And in the future, once I have it on there and have it permanently turned on, in the future. When I go to www.xnxx, which is my favorite porn site, yes. that'll be through there without yes. me doing anything magic. Yes. Do you know www.xnxx? No, not really. Do you do porn no, at all? Not really. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Because it's, right. it's a fabulous site. Yeah. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and I wish I could figure out how they make money. Why? Are they just giving it to you without ads? The ads are so small. Yeah. Like 12 seconds. Well, you know what? They only need a several thousands of uh, viewers to make money, I guess. I mean, it all depends on how, how their user base works. But I know that's not your thing. But well, if it is your thing, they have a search window. Yeah. And you plug in whatever your fantasy is. Yeah. I don't care what it is. You right. plug it in, and, and they give you a long menu alphabetically of really? stuff that approximates your menu. Got it. And you say, that's the one. And they come up with hundreds. It's... <laughs> And you just pick anything you want. No, I, I don't like that one. I'll go to the next one. It's unbelievable. Right. I mean, and um, and I'm going to give you one other clue, which you don't want. What? The Japanese porn is so much better than anybody else's, it's unbelievable. Really? And the reason it's so good, the Japanese porn, is that the actors and actresses are really good. They can suck you into the fantasy. And Japanese porn has like hour and ninety minute porn shows. It's like watching wow. a movie, right? With full plot, full wow. direction. Right. Yeah. You know, it's not some two bit tattooed whore, right? Who's getting fucked in the backseat of a car for thirty seconds with no plot, right? I mean, it, it it just lays out, but you get to pick, right? Which fantasy you want laid out, right? It's like, oh man, this wow. is a, yeah. I wish it weren't so good. Well, isn't that what Fifty Shades of Grey is? It's basically a long porn book. Yeah. Very, very soft porn. Yeah. 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 And it's it's a porn book about sadomasochism. Yeah. So if sadomasochism is your thing. Right. And it amazes me the number of businesswomen that I know. Yeah. Blue wool suit kind right. of 50 year old getting fat who love that book. And he has a he has a torture room in his house with different kinds of whips and stuff. Wow. That he ties her up in. Wow. And these chicks like and I'm going. Cindy Owens likes the fantasy of being beaten? I would have never guessed. <laughs> she not only likes it, she's willing to tell her friends, have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? I recommend it. Right. Go, Holy shit! Right. Well, there you go. Well, okay. Sweet. Well, let's see. I think that's my, my last one. Let me look. Yeah. Let me look at, I'm going to have to go home and write all these new passwords. Right. You've got my, you've restored my Japanese. You've taken my wallpaper back to once every minute. Right. You've shown me how to use this. And the one thing you didn't do was the magic of giving me consolidation of my files. I'm well, going to have to do that. Yeah. And some things are just not automatic yet. Now, I came over here on purpose because... You needed to be paid for this. This wasn't a quickie yeah, over right. dinner. But can I, and I, and I will. How, yeah. how long have I been here? Has it been an hour yet? Uh, probably. It that's enough, that's 100 bucks. All right. No, it's not. My price didn't go up. No, it's 50. Well, yeah, for you, for, I get yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get to, but I've been here for an hour. Yeah. Right, so there's 85. Okay, cool, thanks. Okay, now, we'll buy you lunch. Sure, thanks. Where are we going? Um, are we getting in the car or are we walking next door? I'd rather door? walk, but I'll get in the car if you want. Well, the, sandwich, the, the coffee shop does sandwiches. Um, yeah. Is, is that okay for you? That's fine, yeah. Okay, because yeah. all I'm going to have is a cup of coffee. Yeah, okay, but cool. But I'm just sit and talk with you. Yeah, cool. Let me, let, let's see. Let me put this beauty away before we go. So, how many devices 
Security I'm not sure. I think it's would hide my ass. Let me be under that password. I'll have to check on it. I think it's because I only have three things, but I don't. So 